Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how you can set up different boundary condition types in the Structured Grid Solver. So I'm going to select all of the structured domains and go to Grid, Solve, and go to the Edge Attributes tab. You'll notice that all of the edges of these domains have been highlighted in white. Both boundary edges, such as this, and interior edges, such as these. So I'm just going to select them all. Now in the boundary condition frame, I can choose from three different boundary condition types. The default is fixed, and basically what that means is that none of the grid points along any of the highlighted edges are able to move. They're all fixed. If I change this to floating, what floating allows is it allows all of those grid points to float as if they were internal to the mesh, just interior grid lines in that mesh. Orthogonal will actually allow points to slide along those edges to achieve a more orthogonal mesh on the interior of the domains. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to floating. This is a typical OH mesh or butterfly topology. And I'm going to go to the solve tab and run this for 25 iterations. And you'll notice what happened is that those grid lines have now bent. They've kind of curved a little bit and floated as if they were internal to that mesh. So I'll click OK and you'll see I now have a much higher quality result. I'm going to pull up a second example. Here you see I have two structured domains. Now this bottom domain has a spacing constraint applied adjacent to this top domain, kind of at the interface. I'm going to select them both and go to Grid Solve, go to the Edge Attributes tab, and I'm going to select the bottom edge of this top domain, set its spacing to adjacent grid, and run the solver. What that'll do is it'll pull those grid lines down so I have a nice consistent spacing across that interface. But by doing so, you'll notice that I lose orthogonality at the boundaries. So I'm going to go to the Edge Attributes tab, and I'm going to select both of those boundaries and change their boundary condition type to orthogonal. And again, that's going to allow the points on those edges to actually slide to achieve a more orthogonal result on the interior of that mesh. So if I go to the Solve tab, I'm going to zoom in here and run this a couple of times, you'll notice that those grid points are actually moving along that boundary to achieve better orthogonality. So those are the different boundary condition types that can be applied in this structured grid solver. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.